Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lois and welcome back to Age of Engineering. In the last episode, we were working on... Well, we've been working on trying to get the Angel Ring. And last episode, we had to build this guy. Um, so this is the Tier 2, I believe. Yeah, Tier 2. Um, uh, Void Resource Miner. And it's given us a lot of stuff. In fact, I have about 20 mica, 22 to be exact. And that is kind of awesome. So, what do we need the mica for? Well, we need the mica to make the flight modifier with our vibrant jetpack, which I think we also made last time. Um, I actually don't remember if we made that last episode or not. Um, but we need the vibrant jetpack to make the flight modifier, and then we're going to use the vibrant jetpack to get the dark solarium jet plate. And that is the plan for today. Um, that is two of the items that we need. Uh, and then we're also going to start working on the Enchanted Ingots and maybe even a little bit of the Ender Star um, because those are going to be a pain. And when I say pain, um, th they're severely going to be a pain. That's right. I remember what we did last episode. We were working on bees, which I have been working on. So um, I hopped on here last night, actually, uh, and um, went ahead and made a bunch of vibrant capacitor banks. Um, and... We have another one right in here. I'm not going to put it in my inventory because it's going to suck up all the battery. Um, but yeah, we have a vibrant capacitor bank. And I actually made, well, three of them. Um, so we have a little bit more storage in here. Uh, something that we need to do relatively soon uh, is we need to get this to at least a tier 2, if not a tier 4. Um, that's going to take a little bit of time, though. That's going to take a lot of resources. And it's going to be a lot of off, uh, like, um, AFKing type stuff. But, um, let's see, structure, is it structure blocks? Yeah, structure blocks. Um, this is fine. We can do this pretty easily. Electrical steel is actually not that bad to make. Tier 2 requires diamonds, vibrant alloy, and redstonia. Not bad to make. Tier 3 is not bad. So tier 4 requires nether stars. We do not have a nether star farm yet. Um, that's something that we'll need to make in the relatively near future. Um, but maybe if we get this to a, like a tier 3, that would be super helpful. Um, so yeah, I've been working on bees quite a bit. Um, kind of just waiting for the, the capacitors to be made. Because uh, I know we're going to need one today for the Dark Solarium Jet Plate. So I went ahead and made a bunch. Um, so I have um, one brought over some string and sticks. Uh, and you know what? Eh, we'll not worry about that. Um, we don't have much string. I need to get, like, a spider farm or something. Uh, so, yeah. We are crossbreeding some bees, and hopefully these all did the thing that I wanted them to. to. Um, letting the forest drones kind of go. Uh, that is one thing we're doing. And then in here, I actually have purebred common um that are just kind of doing their thing uh it's always nice to have purebred stuff uh just because you can get more of it with the drones especially because we're gonna try to use nothing but pristine um and one of the things we need for the angel ring uh comes from bees so it's gonna be a little bit tedious but um let's let's actually go through these so this one should be yeah we have noble forest and pure noble. I actually have a couple of pure noble. In fact, I'm gonna put this guy down here. Um, I have a common diligent as well, but we can't do anything with that yet um, because I don't have any cultivated. So I have yet to get a bee um, that has been just flat out cultivated. Um, it's been kind of weird because, yeah, I, I might have had a few, but I don't think so. Um, anyways, we're gonna keep trying to get this noble drone you know let's just do that and it'll be easier and I can put the rest of them in here uh, as you can see I've been storing some wood and stuff like that um, so what do we have with these guys meadows common meadows common meadows common that's actually fine um, because I'm trying to get a cultivated bee um, so meta's common, doesn't matter anymore, forest and noble. I keep, like, the hybrids of certain things, uh, kind of off to the side. Uh, but yeah, so bees are progressing, actually, pretty well. Um, 
one big thing is we could always make more uh, apiaries. And they are not that bad. They do require impregnated casings, which is seed oil. That's a little bit of an annoyance, uh, just because seed oil is just awful. Um, unless we can get something 10, 10, 10. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that gives us more. Um, chestnuts, walnuts, which requires tree breeding. Because, uh, of course, there is also tree breeding in this, um, in forestry. And, yeah, it's not a good way. There's not a good way to get seed oil in this mod pack. So that's a little bit annoying, but whatever. Um, last thing I was working on is over there. Um, so... I've been trying to decide kind of, we're going to need a few more buildings. In fact, we're going to have a uh, probably RF Tools building right here because we don't need that much room for it. Um, it's probably going to be smaller than like the Tinkers because uh, it literally just need, needs to be like a little square. Um, Tech Reborn? Yeah, Tech Reborn will go with um, the IC2 stuff because power generation... Uh, we're going to need a draconic um, evolution area, and that is probably going to be right here, um, but I'm not entirely sure yet, because we don't need that much room for what we need for that, uh, but we can make a gigantic energy battery, so we might we might actually put that one right here and put the RF Tools one somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and made the building for, uh, or at least the flooring and the basement as well for our mechanism room, our mechanism building. And um, we have channels over here basically. So we can set this up. Um, I just need to make more temple blocks and get the everything else set up. Um, kind of the plan with the mechanism is, uh, for the most part, mechanism is not gonna require too much space. Um, what we'll have is our power generation somewhere. Um, with all the the batteries, uh, we'll upgrade the basic ones. We'll probably have a second one um, of these energy cubes for the digital miner. So if we want to ever take that out, so we'll have like a recharging station. Um, and then all of the machines that we need, we're going to have them kind of set up so that um, basically they'll be auto-crafted. All of them will be part of the auto-crafting system. Um, but if we need to use them for something like a one-off or something... Uh, we can just do that pretty easily. We can just come over here and put something in and get the output um, put to our system. Uh, something I do I want to do is uh, maybe not every building, but uh, quite a few buildings. We're going to have a terminal so that we can actually, you know, do stuff with uh, our applied energistic system. So what do we need all this room for? Well, we might actually, this might actually be a second, a two-story building. I don't know. Because one of the big things that we're going to need to get from uh, Mechanism is things like gases and um, mostly gases, but there's also a couple other things. Um, so we're going to probably have a second floor that's dedicated to that. Um, one of the big things is the solar evaporation plants, which I'm not going to get into um, the details too much yet until we're ready to make those. But basically they are for making brine, um, which is used to make... Um, oh, there, it's this, this long process to get uh, DT fuel, which is uh, deuterium tritium fuel. And that is something that we're going to need. Uh, so one of the biggest things is the creative gas tank requires uh, clean osmium slurry, hydrogen chloride, sodium, ethylene, and DT fuel. So the DT fuel is um, we're going to need to get heavy water and uh, do a bunch of things and they require solar activation, so we're probably gonna make a second floor and do stuff on a roof, basically. Um, similar to the plan with the calculator building. So that's the, the mindset behind that building. Um, we'll get to that later. Not super important right now. So what is important right now, other than putting all of that silicon away, is uh, we need to make the flight modifier. We just need one of these. Um, so we're gonna need three launchers. One, two, and three. And then mica, launchers, modifier core, and our jetpack. And there is 
the flight modifier. Now, if we wanted to, we could make one of these um, and make a nano beacon, which is a big structure from environmental tech, kind of like that. Um, that is kind of sole purpose uh, is giving it's it's basically a powered beacon, um, but you can add the flight modifier to it and make it you know give yourself creative flight. You can add saturation and give yourself uh, hunger, uh, infinite uh, food. But that's not important because we have the nutrition module. We're going to get the angel ring. Uh, don't really care. Uh, and then eventually we'll have draconic armor probably because we will need to kill the chaos guardian. So yeah, we'll get the draconic armor and that has flight as well. So not a big deal. Anyways, um, with that done, we can get rid of the flight modifier and the next thing we're going to work towards is the dark solarium jet plate now we're going to need some dark solarium first of all uh we're going to need one two three four just make sure that doesn't uh, okay five six seven eight so let's see there's four there's six twelve uh 14 15 16 17 18 19 20. Um, we're going to need 20 dark solarium. So that is made with pulsating crystals, solarium, and dark steel. So dark steel, we're going to need 20. We're going to need pulsating crystals times 20. That should be a pretty quick craft. Um, it just needs to make the nuggets, and then it makes three of them, and then, or however many it can. And then we're going to need solarium. Oh, we're going to need three more. One, two, three. Uh, and so that's gold. One, two, three. All right, we are doing pretty good on resources, if I do say so. So we'll make the solarium that will be done in a moment. So that is all the dark solarium we should need. Um, there's a couple of really nasty things that we're gonna need as well. We're also gonna need more dark steel. Let's get like 10 more of that cooking up. Um, okay. And then we'll get this going. And while this is making all of its stuff, um, we are going to work on uh, getting the vibrant thrusters. So we're going to need two thrusters uh, once again. So for this, we need, uh, you know, it would be better just to put thrusters. Uh, so for the first tier, we need four basic gears. One, two, three, four. What are you doing in my base, pig? Get out. Hey. All the way. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> pig ruining my uh, stuff. Um, I went ahead and made a bunch of basic capacitors, by the way, just so I could get that out of the way. So we need two of these. We're going to need another redstone circuit thing. Um... Oh, uh, conduit binder. Really, I don't have that as a recipe. Seriously. Um, CF powder, we need to make that. That we do have a recipe for. You know what, let's go ahead and make the recipe for um, binder. I don't think we have, okay, we have, okay, that's what it is. Um, if we have some patterns, no. Um, do we have anything that's just smelting currently? I don't think we do. We have a powered furnace. Yeah, we do. Okay. So what we can do is get some binder. Just get one set of that. Uh, and then we can teach the system that one of these, uh, I guess we'll have to pop down. I think... Our powered furnace is still just sitting down here. Um, it's something I need to kind of deal with, but I'm not ready to yet. Um, but each one of these makes two. So we'll teach the system that one binder, comp um, binder, binder composite makes two of those. And we can put that in the powered Oh my gosh. 
the power furnace and then later on we'll use mechanism for all of that stuff but that's not that big of a deal right now um so we just need to make this guy and there we go there is the second um conductive thruster next is the electrical steel thrusters which i have the machine uh chassis so those are easy enough uh then we're gonna need oh boy um enhanced energy um double capacitors times four and the enhanced energy conduits i have on me so that's not a problem and then what's the last thing two pulsating crystals pulsating crystals times four cool uh so that'd be pretty quick and easy um by the way the pulsating propolis is something we're gonna need uh for later but uh we're gonna have to go back and get some more ender bees uh because that seems to be the easiest way to get the stuff that we need uh anyways there is one and two so next is the vibrant thrusters and for these we're going to need did i just put all of those in there okay that's fine um we're going to need uh four octavic capacitors which i made sure we had enough capacitors for this um relatively anyways and vibrant crystals and alloys so vibrant let's go ahead and make like 30 of that not a problem uh and let's see how we're doing on the solarium dark solarium this stuff is actually really expensive um it takes thirty-two thousand rf to produce so power might actually become an issue if it does uh we'll, we'll turn the reactor on but we're actually still gaining power so that's fine um it's just gonna take a while um so i guess let's do it this way let's grab the dark solarium and we're gonna do i think it's like that for the jet plate uh no i actually want to do this in the applied energistic system because it'll be better um is there anything else we can make we can make the ender crystal maybe um yeah we, we'll be able to do that soon uh so i guess while we're waiting for things to process because it is currently making the vibrant alloy for that uh okay it is still crafting it it's fine uh, i almost wanted to go check it and make sure it's working um what we're gonna do is start working on the enchanted ingot so the enchanted ingot is um well it's nine different ingots with some liquid slime and a carpenter or not liquid slime liquid xp and a carpenter so for example we're going to need refined obsidian ingot we have that um we're going to need a vibrant alloy we'll get that later uh draconium we're gonna need one of these not too bad nothing too difficult so far uh, and we're just going to do this right here so that goes there this one goes here um we're going to need demon ingot and hop graphite uh, now, I don't know that we've made HOP graphite. Oh, yeah, we have. Okay. I couldn't remember or not. Um, and then demon ingots. We should have a bunch of those. So, so far, pretty easy. Uh, the vibrant alloy we'll get later. Um, so, night slime and iridium ingot. So, iridium ore compressed. We just need one of those. Uh, or we could use these iridium nuggets. I think and get an iridium ingot that's easy enough and we've got these from um potentially centrifuging must have um platinum I don't remember we got that somehow I don't remember how um but iridium ingot was one of the harder ones to get not too bad uh, and then we're going to need to get 10 buckets worth of levels. That should be pretty easy. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to get that, but we'll figure it out. Uh, so what else do we need? We need um, Ludicrate and Night Slime. So Night Slime might be something we need to, to work on. Um, so that is not too bad, but it is a smeltery thing. 
So in order to get Night Slime, Molten Night Slime, we're going to need Seared Stone. So two ingots of Seared Stone. Um, so for every ingot of Iron, we need two ingots of Seared Stone. And 125 one purple slime so one purple slime one iron and seared stone we might have um that is a that is a question for the ages okay let's go over to our smeltery and see what do we have first of all we're gonna have to turn off is this active with signal? Let's turn that off. So we can put that in and that in. And then we're just going to need um, some seared stone. Nothing too difficult there. Uh, and the best way to get seared stone is, of course, smelting stone. We get four stone in there. Should be enough. Uh, and then what we're going to do is grab our ingot cast. And just put it there so this should be all we need for the night slime um that leaves okay disregarding the vibrant alloy because we can get that uh fairly easily i just need to make one um the only two things left is ludicrate and tungsten steel tungsten steel is going to be a problem ludicrate is just kind of annoying um so the only way to get ludicrate is through this so we're going to need plutonium emerald a nether star and some ender pearls um, not that bad. The plutonium we can get with two cyanites and some water and a carpenter. And there's the molten night sign. One ingot of, one ingot worth. Uh, this stuff is actually pretty good uh, as a like tinker metal, um, but it's also not that great. It's the it's one of the better ones that is not in the nether. So um, take that as you will. So there's the night slime. Uh, let's see, I don't know that we have any plutonium, but let's just make sure. Uh, we're gonna need four plutonium, two emerald blocks. Uh, no, so emerald blocks. And then the fun part of, we need to, to kill a wither. Um, we're actually gonna need to kill two withers. I think is all we're gonna need right now um and then later on we'll we'll need to get more but two of those um i have a carpenter we have another carpenter over here i think that has so we're gonna need eight cyanite we have plenty of that um by the way in case you're wondering the cyanite reprocessor is not in this pack um so we can't use that we have to do it this way. Uh, so the question is, fermenter squeezer. Of course, I don't have a carpenter that we can just use. That's a problem that I'm going to need to fix. Um, so I guess we'll have to use this one, uh, which shouldn't be a problem. And then we're just going to need to get some water. Uh, how much is it per plutonium? It's one bucket. It's disabled by redstone. Uh, that's annoying. Can I put this here? Let's just get rid of that recipe. And it won't heat up. Um, okay. Okay. So we're gonna need four buckets of water. That's not too bad, other than we have to go get four buckets of water. Um, let's get one bucket, and then we're gonna make that little fishing thing into a infinite spring so that we can get plenty of water that way. Uh, I think that'll be the easiest thing to do. And 
just going to do that temporarily. Um, just because I'm lazy and I don't want to run back and forth. I don't think you guys want to see that either. So, two, three, and four. Uh, no power. Oh, man. So, let's break that and put it there. Okay. So, that will make the plutonium. Uh, ender pearls. We need two ender pearls. That's easy enough. Uh, we have plenty of ender pearls. How are we doing on the pulsating? We have the pulsating. Cool. Um, so all we need now is two vibrant crystals. So four vibrant crystals, and we'll have the thrusters. And one, two. All right. Lots of things that I'm kind of working on all at once. Um, so ludicrate. Two emeralds, and then we'll get the rest of the stuff later. Okay. So we can put that and that away. How are we doing on the dark solarium? We're done with that. Cool. All right. So next thing we need to make um, is this guy. So we're going to need f four more octatic capacitors. And it's going to have to do some processing. That's fine. Um, we'll worry about that. Like that'll that'll run in the background. Um, now we need to make for the jet plate. Um, we're gonna need an Ender crystal. So let's go ahead and get one of those. And that can craft automatically. Um, and then we're gonna need some other stuff. So we're gonna need. I think it's ten. Uh, so as you notice, this Vibrant Jetpack is armored. We need Dark Steel Armor Plating. Yeah, so it's 10. We're going to need Electrical Steel times 10. Let's just get the 10. Uh, and then the Electrical Steel comes from Conductive Iron. We're actually going to need a ton of Conductive Iron. Um, but for now, we just need 10. Uh, so let's take that and then we need the silicon thing um, but the problem is we're gonna need uh, three six more conductive iron ones so we're gonna need seven of these in total so one two three four five six seven so we're gonna need a lot of conductive iron as well um, so that is doing its thing. We're going to need more electrical steel. Well, actually, we don't need any more electrical steel. Uh, so what we can do, get some of those, and that will make the armor plating. Uh, now, the last thing we're going to need for these jet, uh, the, the thruster for the jet plate, because uh, everything else we have, um, the armor will get once we get the electrical steel. Um, so that's not a problem. We have that. So one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and get the armor plating and then we'll get the, the other ones later. So we just do it like so. And, uh, when we're ready to make the actual jet plate, we're going to have to remember to do something, but there is the armored jet plate uh jet pack rather so that is done um now the thrusters themselves we're gonna need one two three four for those uh and then we need these flight control units we need two of these uh so it's fuse quartz and some electrical steel and we need two more electrical steel is it making any more no of course not so let's make two more electrical steel and then once that's done, um, we need to get a soul vial. We have one for a villager. Um, we can make more. Let's see, it's three solarium, I think, and a fused quartz. Um, actually, let's get two of these because that'll be easier. Uh, and then we have the fun part of we need to go find some bats. And then we need the gold. 
Oh wait, no, I've got this backwards. It's only two solarium. Uh, let's just verify, just so I don't mess this up. Um, so yeah, we need to go find two bats. And yeah, it's three fuse quartz. Wrong way. One, two, three. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the solarium and then we'll see if we have what we need. And then we just need to go find some bats. Uh, all right, so uh, we were making the flight control units. So there's the two of those. And then we need the conductive iron. We're going to need like 50 more of that. All right, I don't have that. So let's just get a stack of redstone and a stack of iron. And we'll let that go in here until we are, well, done. So let's just get two soul vials. And we just need to go find some bats. Um, now, bats are annoying because they like dark places. Uh, and I'm debating whether or not it's going to be better to go through the overworld. Or, you know, I think the overworld is better because there is a place we can go. Um, one of the the slime islands there is potential there um so in the desert it's dark underneath and it's almost always dark underneath so we might be able to get uh what we want the other thing is we're going to use the overworld specifically the uh um villages to hopefully find some uh some more apiaries. Uh, if we can find villages that have bees, basically. Um, and then one of the other things that we're going to need, and I didn't, I briefly mentioned this, but the tungsten steel is, is an absolute nightmare to get. Uh, and the big reason for that is because we're going to need um, icy shards from bees. And for that, we need industrious bees to begin with. Um, but then it's also going to require wintry bees, and it's a it's a, a crossbreed. So um, that's something we're gonna have to do. All right, let's get out of here. I don't really care about it being night. Um, let's just find a cave, I guess, because this does not have any bees. Not bees, bats, other small flying animal. Um. So yeah, there looks like there's a cave in this area, just judging by the number of mobs that just spawned. Uh, and that's what we want. We want a dark cave. Um, don't necessarily want all of the uh, mobs, but whatever. Uh, we are basically immortal because of our... Uh, health module. I just don't know how quickly it, like, does its thing. Looks like, uh, I hear a bat. So that is a good sign. But apologies for this. Uh, it's going to be dark. Uh, but we need it to be dark because that's how we find bats. Um, so yeah. Moonstone. I don't know that we will ever need those. Okay, there's. It sounds like there's a bat like over here. Um. I hear. There's a lot of creepers. Go ahead. Okay. Any more? Um, uh, one more. Okay. Um, no luck so far. And I'm not hearing bats anymore. 
So yeah, this might take a little, uh, oh. Unfortunately, these caves are very winding. So there might be, there's bats. They might be above. Um, there's so many ores. Alright, I do not see any bats. Oh, hey, there is a bat. So there's one bat. We need one more. That's a husk. Um, being in this area, though, that might have spawned new bats. We can also see them on the map. I should probably use that. Looks like there's some bats that might have flown out of here. Oh, there's a huge cave right next to where I was. Ow. Um... And, oh my gosh, I think there might be a bat right in here. It says they're, they're still above me, so maybe they're on the surface. Um... Yeah, there's one, uh, it might be uh, actually rabbits. Yeah, that one was a rabbit, okay. All right, so some of these are rabbits. All right, I'll tell you guys what, I am going to spin up, oh, Never mind. there's a bat right there. There we go. Uh, let's just verify that we have two bats. Bat, bat, all right. Let's get out of here. Um, so, with that, oh, I think I unbind, unbound the, uh, oh, the, the glider. So with that, we can make everything else we need. Um, it's just gonna be a matter of getting all the resources and we can get the dark solarium jet plate. Um, now the ludicrate is going to require a nether star. Um, which I think the best way to get that is just going to be, let's summon a wither, let's kill a wither and call it a day. Uh, I might look into getting some blast resistant stuff. Um, but we'll see. Um, we might be able to handle a wither without that. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be a matter of killing a wither, um, two to be exact, but that's whatever. Um, so with that out of the way uh the bats was kind of the the harder part and so what we need to do now is go to our indrio area uh and we need to use the soul binder soul thing and then we're gonna need to clear our inventory out um a lot of stuff a lot of junk so we need to go downstairs from here and here we go. Also, right, the XP vacuum, that's how we do it. Okay. So we're gonna switch, switch those for a second. And then, we get two of those. And the soul vial should go into the system, which is fine. Uh, should go into there. We should see a third pop in. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but everything else will go where it needs to go. And I guess we can just go ahead and give it that. And get some more levels. Um, so I might want to go ahead and, in preparation for the ingot, the enchanted ingot, we'll get a bunch of levels in there. That won't be too big of a problem. Uh, that is, wow, 
Good timing. So we're going to need 60 of these. And get rid of that for now. Um, we have the four plutonium. That's nice. So yeah, we just need a nether star or two. And we have one, so we can make the ludicrite right now. But um, we're going to need one more. So might as well, might as well get that and then worry about it. So um, we should be able to make the dark solarium jet plate, uh, jet uh, thrusters. No, you're still making an octatic capacitor. And then what's the other thing that we need? It's the, the dark solarium. Okay, so we're, we're halfway there. Uh, the conductive iron, I guess we could go ahead and do this. and make the two reinforced glider wings. And then quite literally all we'll need is our, put our battery away so we don't drain it. Um, we literally just need the other thrusters. So once this is done, we can get that. So you know what, let's go ahead and get the uh, Ludicrite. Um, we'll get the other nether star for the ender star next episode. Uh, I will prior prep most of that stuff so we can do that right away um, because we're going to have to do some other things as well. So, Ludicrate, we just need one of these. And Carpenter, uh, so we can get rid of the Ludicrate. So that is here. Something like this. I do believe my memory is pretty good uh, we can get the vibrant alloy now and are these guys hurting for power or is it just taking some time okay it's just taking time uh, otherwise I would have gone and turned on the reactor but if we don't need to we don't have to Okay, so the enchanted ingot, we have literally everything except for the tungsten steel. Now, why is this so bad? Well, first of all, it's tech reborn. Um, that's not going to be fun to begin with. But we need to get a vacuum freezer so that we can turn hot tungsten steel into normal tungsten steel. Now, the vacuum freezer is not that hard to make. Two extractors, that's easy. Um, advanced control circuits, whatever and steel plates, whatever, but it requires ice shards, which come from ICBs, which come from industrious and wintry, um, and they require to, uh, to be in the cold. So we'll go back to the very first base we had up in the mountain and probably breed those. I'll do that kind of on my own and just get, we just need one ice shard. Um, we'll get a wintry princess up there and we'll worry about that later. Um, that is like the least of the concerns. Um, because the vacuum freezer is also a multi-block structure. We'll get to that once we make it. Um, the multi-block stuff is actually not too bad. Uh, to get hot tungsten steel, we need a blast furnace with tungsten and steel. Um, now the blast furnace is not that bad to make. Uh, it does require some machine casings and it's a multi-block structure. Um, so we'll get to that as well. But all in all, it's not too bad. Other than the... the Cupro nickel heating coils, which requires a rolling machine. <sighs> Down a rabbit hole. Uh, and the rolling machine, which is what, a low tier rating, um, two compressors and a machine block. That's not bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that stuff going. Uh, first of all, do we have any machine blocks? No. Do we have any refined iron? No. So let's make just a bunch of that. Uh, so we are going to need, uh, while we're waiting for the last stuff, might as well get this stuff started, um, rolling machine and uh, blast furnace and then a vacuum freezer. So the rolling machine, we're going to need refined iron, which is electric solidifier with steel. So how are we doing on steel? We have 100. Let's do half a stack. Uh, and we'll just let that run. Um, so 
Yeah, we have one more thing. Um, the other thing we're going to need for this rolling machine, we're going to need uh, four pistons, two of these. Um, and... Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, some tantalum plates. We have tantalum. We can get more tantalum. Um, four pistons. And then we're going to need two compressors. So the question is, can we make that easily? Because uh, I remember that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so we need machine casings. We're going to need two of those. And that should be pretty quick. So we'll just wait on that. And then we can make the rolling machine. We can make the Cooper Nickel. Uh, we can start making some of these machines. And the other problem is going to be um, just getting them set up where I want them. So, uh, yeah, that is the thing. And we can kind of go from there. So once we get the, the, the machine block isn't too bad. Um, the blast furnace requires an advanced machine block, which requires advanced alloy. So let's go ahead and make that. Um, that just requires compressor with an advanced alloy ingot, um, which we get from smelting uh, a mixed metal ingot. And here's the fun part. Um, these are different than the IC2 stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get both compressors. Put those away. Uh, so that's actually pretty nice. Um, we have options and the option I think we're going to go with. So if we look, it's refined iron, bronze, and tin. I don't want to use refined iron if I can help it because it's a pain to make. Um, but the next set is nickel. And by the way, there's 17 pages of this because there's a lot of recipes. They give you different numbers. Now nickel is better. Um, what's after nickel though? Envar? Uh, okay. Envar is a little bit better. Uh, I can handle Invar. Titanium is the next one, though. I don't want to use titanium. I don't want to use tungsten. I don't even know if we have tungsten. Uh, tung. Okay, we have a lot of tungsten ore. And we can smelt that up. We can crush it into powdered tungsten. And just smelt that up. Okay. So let's actually do that. Tungsten, let's get two stacks of it. Uh, and we'll grind that up. Uh, so the question then becomes, uh, for the mixed metal ingots, what can we do with tungsten? Uh, is tungsten worth it? So tungsten, and then we can use, I believe, bronze and aluminum? We'll give us six? No, that's wrong thing. Tungsten... Bronze and aluminum. We'll give a six. That's not bad. Uh, so can we get bronze? Uh, let's go ahead and make like 20. And then aluminum we have way too much of. So let's just get like two recipes worth. Um, bronze. Whoops. Lost power. That's not good. Do I have bronze back here? No, of course not. Uh, let's go turn our... It's because of this. Um, something is... Oh, it doesn't have any power. Yeah. Um, it's because of those guys. Those guys just eat power. Plus, we're making the, the this guy, so that's going to take a little bit of time and power as well. So, um, yeah, this is just going to be a lot of work. Um, there we go. We got our, our stuff back. And we just need six of these currently. So, furnace mode. And we'll get a lot of this stuff later. Uh, I'll go ahead and smelt up all this stuff. Um, but this will give us our 
well, the things we need. So the mixed metal ingots. And let's just do it this way. Tungsten, aluminum, bronze. So that is 12 mixed metal ingots. Not bad. We can cook those up. And then we can um, compress them. And we're going to need to get uh, quite a few of these, to be honest. So uh, making extra of this is not going to hurt us because the blast furnace is a multi-block structure. Of course it is. Uh, the rolling machine, I don't believe it is. So that's good. We're missing something. Not entirely sure what it was. Um, hmm. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Um, and the rolling machine as well. If we can just get... Oh, cool. So let's get the dark solarium jet plate. There is that. And there is that. So tier 5 goes in the middle. Awesome. So all we need at this point is one more item here, uh, which is the tungsten steel, which is awful. Uh, I need to go sleep. It's thunderstorming. Um, and then a little bit of that is going to be bees. So I'm going to have to work hard on bees. And then um, the other thing that we're going to have to do is, of course... Uh, the Ender Star, which other than killing another Wither, is not going to be hard. So that's the plan. Um, we're going to work on that next episode, and then hopefully we'll get the the Angel Ring, and that will be it. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm exhausted. Uh, this has been an episode. Uh, so yeah, that is the plan, and we'll go from there. I need to repair this one of these days. I might do that off camera. Um, that's the plan. We'll go from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!